25 cents here. So I was at the sale and I actually was like, what is, what is this? And I think it's like, Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I was on my way home from the post office and I see a garage sale sign. I was not planning to go to a garage sale. Whoopsie. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Um, it turned out to be really amazing. And I have actually been to this garage sale before. So I was a little bit excited when I pulled up. And at first I was kind of like, oh, there's nothing really here. And then I kept looking and I found some really great stuff. Unfortunately, I did not record. So this is gonna be kind of a haul video, but I also want to do some educational screen sharing with it to help you guys learn with me. So let's get started here. Uh, this little guy is the first piece. I'm gonna pull this bag out of here and then I will just grab things out of it to show you guys. Um, but I found some really great stuff with some really great prices. I just got a light bulb, actually out of another item that I uh, had that I bought from the same sale and then I got this from the basement. This seems pretty big, but no lampshade, but super, super cute. You put the bottom light bulb in there and it says Hong Kong on the bottom here. So it is definitely vintage, but it can be a night light. And then you can also flip it off so it's nothing and then turn it on. And so there's different settings, which I think this is so cute that it is like a little night light. I didn't know that when I bought it. But there was no price on this and I said, what do you want for the little light? And she said a buck. So I went ahead and scooped that up. All right, the next item. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna keep it. The Mickey Mouse light. Love this. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did my um, listing to make it stand out. These are active. So again, it's another item that there's quite a few listed, but it has a night light, a light, and um, it functions in a few different ways. Let's look at the, the solds here. So there's four listed and one sold and it sold for $10. I do not have the lampshade, which is no big deal. Um, it'll be easier to ship that way. And it's not a breakable, so that's good also. I mean, I suppose if it got crushed, it might break, but uh, you know, it's not glass. Okay, so this is the next item I found and this is totally a keeper. Look at the little frog down here, the lily pad and the flower and it works. Let me uh, turn out the ring light here or the, oh, the light box. Look how awesome it is. Totally keeping this. I showed my husband and he's like, we should keep that. And I'm like, I agree. And it's about nine and a half inches. So it's not very big. So keep it until we decide that we're bored with it. There's no markings on it or anything like that. I have not done a Google image. Um, I feel like this would be a bolo. I feel like somebody would really want this, um, but we're gonna hang on to it for now. All right, let's check out the next item I got. All right, so I got this little ornament. I saw it right before I was leaving. I had already paid and I grabbed 50 cents out of my pocketbook. And this is from 2008, it's a Hallmark. Always pick up those, they're an easy list. I don't know if it's worth anything or not. This one I grabbed right before I was leaving. It was hanging up or sitting in a tree. It wasn't really hanging, it was in the box. And it was 50 cents and I was like, you know what, it's a Hallmark ornament. I didn't comp it. These are all active listings. There are a whole bunch and I think there's only one sold. So this is probably gonna be another item that may do better on Poshmark and Mercari because it is flooded on eBay but my cost of goods was very, very low. I also always pick up any animals that are, I believe this is brass. This was $1. It's not signed or anything like that. It's just, um, it's got, it's not perfect, but man, oh man, it is definitely a very cool piece. All right, brass animals. I, for some reason, am drawn to these brass animals. I think they're super cool. Look at this. 81 of them went for $725. Here's a set of drafts for 175 
And I'm not verifying if these sold or anything like that. I basically just pulled these up to do some research to figure out how I wanted to list my item. Now, mine is bending down, eating the grass. And I really didn't see any that were similar to mine. So I am going to price it up a little bit and just see what happens. Um, I have sold the draft before. It was a draft and a baby, I believe. Yeah, it looked like this. I think I've sold that one or something very similar to it. But um, yeah, just fun little uh, vintage brass pieces. And I picked up some brass deer today. So we I've done pretty good with brass deer as well. So this is definitely my type of sale. And this is a Wizard of Oz scarecrow. And it is uh, Hamilton Gifts Lowe's. I'm not sure if that's pronounced Lowe's, but this is 1987. I have sold these before, never on a stand like this but I think that's probably, yep, the original stand. So cool, right? And I will sell that together. Have not looked it up. I just, it was a dollar, so I bought it. Now, unfortunately, this has some damage on it, but the good news is it's just a piece of paper that's rolled up and it could probably be replaced really easily. There was some stuff there, some baby clothes that were cool but uh, it had rained or something and they had bled onto stuff. So I'm thankful that it's only on that paper. This Scarecrow, I have sold this brand before. Um, this is the Wizard of Oz uh, by Presents and Hamilton Gifts. And I don't think I sold the Scarecrow. I feel like I had like three of them, but I don't know if I had the Scarecrow. It's been a long time ago. Maybe somebody remembers from one of my videos. But I do have this exact item for sale now. I picked it up at this at this sale. It does have the actual, um, oh, what do you call that? The doll stand. And uh, yeah, we're going to see. These are all active listings. I don't think there were any solds. That's why I've got the actives pulled up. But they ranged, you know, somebody's got one listed for 30. This one's for 24. So we're just going to see. I did take the this uh, scroll, I think that's what it's called, out of its hand. And a lot of them don't have it anyway because it got that blue dye on it from something. So this one still has the plastic, I think. Yeah, brand new, 2703. So we'll see. Um, that might be something that'll be good to cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. The item may not be as flooded over there. Um, I usually start my items on eBay and then I will cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly to do that. If you guys want to learn more about cross posting and how I do it, I do have a link down in the description of the video and I use List Perfectly. If you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month of that. And it's a great way to get different eyes on your items. The next item, I just think this is so cute. I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but look at this. I'm pretty sure this is like hand carved wood. And she's got this little uh, hair bow, but it looks like it's missing from one side, but it's a puppet. I paid 25 cents for this, but here's what's cool. You flip it over and it's got the original tag so I can look it up. I don't know if it's valuable or not, but a quarter? Are you kidding me? Love it. Love it. Love it. This puppet. And um, this is the only one that I could find that sold. And it's a little bit different than mine. So I am going to try an auction. I'm going to price it higher. Um, I think this person probably could have got more for theirs, but they started the auction lower and it only got one bid. So sometimes... I like to start my auctions at what I would like to get out of the item. So we'll see. It's kind of a wild card there. All right. So this item I actually broke when I was there. It's the little flag that goes on the top. I, I'm going to just hang on to it. But I just thought this was so cool. I think it's copper. But it's like thin copper. And it's a music box. Check this out. So you twist it. Or no, wait. This way. And then it rotates. It's a carousel. And I paid $2 for this. And I just think it's very, very 
Very cool. I lifted it up so that messed it up, but it's made in Hong Kong and it says S-A-N-K-Y-O, San Kyo, Japan. So I still have to definitely research this, but this will be listed. Everything is going to be listed in my eBay store. I'll have a link down below. Um, I don't think I can repair this. I mean, I guess if somebody had like a way to solder it, I know my husband knows how to do that. I just don't know if it's worth it. I'll see what it's um, valued at, but just a really neat piece. And I didn't wind it that much. So, but that is that. This Sankyo, or wait, San Sankyo, S-A-N-K-Y-O. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I thought this was going to be better than it was. Uh, there's some solds, one for $29, one for $22.95 plus shipping, and a best offer was taken on this one. I really think this is a neat old copper piece um, music box that actually works. Again, I also put a video in the listing description. I'm just going to wait until um, it, it's probably going to be long tail. And one of the flags broke on mine. So that's probably going to hurt the resale value also. But I did not pay much for any of these items. Now this here is absolutely awesome. So Mother of Pearl, it's got this little like spot here. And I'm like, what is it? And that actually says something down there. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a patent. My, my husband pointed that out, but I didn't know where he was pointing. So right here says patent. Um, he thinks it's from, I think he said the early 1900s, paid a buck for this. I just couldn't pass it up, but I did take the tape off and it actually has somebody's name. So when I was there, I'm like, do you have any idea what this is? I knew I was going to buy it, but I didn't know what it was. And she said it's for an umbrella. So it hooks into an umbrella, but of course the umbrella is missing, but look at the detail on that. Is that cool or what? A dollar well spent. I don't know if it's worth anything, but we will definitely look into that. So this item right here is just fantastic. I picked it up off the table and I didn't know what it was and they actually knew what it was. So that really helped my research. I feel like this one right here is very similar to what I have. Now this one actually has the rod that connects into it as well as the handle. I only have the handle. I am going to do an auction on this and just hope for the best, but it does say gold filled mother of pearl. Now, um, this one right here, there's three of them, but these are just really, really neat. And I truly had no idea what it was. I just thought it looked old and I thought it was neat and it was a good pickup for sure. So Definitely a big money bolo. Am I going to have to be patient and write, wait on the right buyer? Possibly. Or it could sell on auction. I don't know. Time will tell. We shall see. It is currently up for auction. So mine actually says a full name on the top. It's not um, initials. So that may hurt mine a little bit. But just a really, really cool piece. And you can see lots of great, um, great prices here. So pretty happy with that find. Okay. The next item is this. Um, all right. This right here is uh, Peter Cottontail. It is vintage. Melodies is the brand. I thought there was a date on it, but I'm not seeing it. But again, it's a music box and I paid 50 cents for it, but watch what it does. It moves. Isn't it cute? This sale was so fun. I didn't get any footage while I was there because I just didn't. Maybe. Peter Cottontail Ceramic Wooden Alphabet Music Box. I could not find any solds on eBay, but there is one listed currently for $24 plus shipping. I did add a video to the description of my listing. The next one is... All right. This was 50 cents. And SKM plush toys, I have no idea, but it was 50 cents. It's definitely vintage. Um, I think I looked at the tag. I think it's vintage. I'm pretty certain it's vintage. But I just saw these cute little hearts, and the condition is so good, and people like dogs. I don't know what kind of dog this is, 
So got to do some research on that, but definitely a cool item. SKM, not familiar with that plush brand. This SKM plush is just adorable. It's um, a little puppy dog with red hearts on the side. Super cute. Um, there's three currently active, 10, 20, and 20. So I'll probably price mine in the $20 range. Let this one sell first. I don't remember. Let's see if there were any solds. No solds that match perfectly. So um, again, just an inexpensive, cute plush. Might do well during Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day and the title may be a good thing. Definitely want to put hearts. All right. And the very last item was 25 cents here. So I was at the sale and I actually was like, what is, what is this? And I think it's like um, a pendant that you wear around your neck and it opens to hide your goodies. But I'm like, and this fell out right here. And it is a rosary and it looks really, really old. Um, I have not looked to see what that says, but I did look at this little hang tag and it says France. But I will sell this as a, um, as a set. And it just goes right inside there. Is that cute or what? So really another just cool piece there. No markings on it but just an interesting find for sure. All right, the rosary. I'm pricing that up because I just don't know. I cannot find anything that is um, that has a little container like mine has. Uh, these are some old vintage antique rosaries right here, and some of them go for big money. I remember Toledo Antique sold a um, one of these rosaries for big money. They featured it in one of my videos. I think it was their This Is My Bolo. And definitely check out Toledo Antique. They are a wealth of knowledge. They know tons and tons of stuff. This one right here has an um, a little, I think it's a case. Maybe it's part of just part of the rosary. I don't know. But that screw on case is super, super cool. That way you can wear it as a pendant and keep it right around your neck. Here's another one. But see, it's got the little pearls. I think those are pearls. I don't know. What do you guys think about the rosary? How would you price it? I'm going to go high on that one and just see how it goes. So super cool items. Super excited about this garage. So everything was super cheap. And I just feel like everything was educational. So I wanted to bring a video to you guys and share with you some of the comps and the solds so that you guys would know to look for these items. Um, I have not sold any of them. I just listed them. A lot of them are on auctions and we're just going to see how it goes. If they don't sell, I will increase the price and put it on a buy it now with the best offer. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments, which item was your favorite item. And there's going to be some videos popping up here, here and a subscribe and another video down below. Check out one of those and be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And let me know in the comments how you found the channel. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.